In Sub-Saharan Africa, Ethiopia is one of the biggest countries, has one of the fastest growing economies and has the second highest capacity for electricity generation. But in a country of 100 million people, only 44% of Ethiopian households have access to electricity. There are multiple challenges. The first one is uh, obviously the access, accessibility of the people. The majority of people live in rural areas, not in uh, urban uh, centers. Everybody cannot be reached through grid system. The second one is uh, rapid population growth. That your development work need to catch up with the population growth plus more. Uh, third is uh, limitation of capital. With limited capital, uh, it's very difficult to reach rapidly to where, where you want to reach. In response to this, Ethiopia recently launched the second phase of its national electrification program. Its objective? To provide clear and comprehensive time-bound targets and action plans for national electrification by 2025 and to encourage private sector investment and build public-private partnerships to take electricity to a nation. We started working with the World Bank in the National Electrification Program Phase 1 and Phase 2. Instead of the traditional just grid-based solution, we took into account off-grid solution very seriously. We have stratified the solutions from pre-electrification to off-grid electricity, micro and mini-grids to also the, the grid expansion. With the World Bank, the government took an integrated approach using geospatial analysis to identify areas for different electrification technologies. The resulting plan identified that by 2025, 65% of newly electrified households will be served by the national grid, while the other 35% will benefit from off-grid and mini-grid solutions. An additional key component to the second phase of the National Electrification Program is a strong emphasis on sector building capacity and institutional reform, supporting a shift towards more comprehensive service delivery. The NAP um, entails a detailed off-grid rollout to 6 million people, which calls for strong participation among the private sector, which uh, provides a significant opportunity for local entrepreneurship and uh, job creation, especially for the youth and women. Prior to 2015, most of Ethiopia's electricity had been centrally planned, publicly financed and self-managed. With the second phase of the National Electrification Program in place, various solutions will be required to reach those not grid connected. In response to this, the Ethiopian government has started working with a full range of partners to make its 2025 target a reality. Horizontally, we link with other development partners like African Development Bank uh, or GIZ. In SDG 7, we talk about renewable energy, we talk about energy access, and we talk about energy efficiency. So the supports coming from our development partners are cutting across the whole the three phases. Now that there is a clear uh, strategy, especially in uh, expanding the electricity access, is very important. Uh, it gives guidance to the private sector and also to other development partners to really see uh, what options are on the table and uh, what are the directions uh, of investment that are given priority. It opens a lot uh, of gates for the private sector because there is the understanding that uh, the government alone cannot achieve this and achieve it also in time. There is a huge opportunity in Ethiopia for off-grid uh, household systems. Our mission is uh, to reach about 600,000 Ethiopian off-grid people uh, through a solar home systems by uh, uh, 2025. We also align our contribution on this market with the National Electrification Program too. This make us work with the government. They engaged us 
they involved us on commenting uh, when they were doing the NIP2 program. So we feel like we are involved somehow. Solar off grid, right now we are piloting uh, 12 uh, mini grids for 12 small towers. All of them are given to the private sector to deliver on those. So uh, this is how the private sector is engaged. There is an allocation of a huge budget by Development Bank of Ethiopia for this uh, energy, renewable energy sector. Mainly for solar, for example, we are able to access some of the funds, which really helped us to resolve the foreign currency problem. Uh, also, the government gave the similar funds to microfinance institutions. This created a huge opportunity and channel for the private sector to reach the consumers who are right now are off-grid rural people. The government is also open for different uh, technologies. We are trying, for example, Piaz ecosystems to be happening in Ethiopia, so we can um, reach rural customers with affordable products. As we speak, regional governments, even sub-regional governments and communities are getting more bolder and more demanding, and that uh, should open the, the gates for uh, diverse business models, approaches, yeah, that gives opportunity to the private sector. But it's also upon us, the development partners, and also the private sector to show alternatives and share the risk with them. And I do hope that this plan uh, gives also the courage to the private sector to venture in Ethiopia. The National Electrification Program, while only in its infancy, is ambitious in its scale and timeline, but it is already proving the potential of innovative public-private partnerships. I think the private sector is the real deliverer. The very hard to reach places currently are purely delivered by the private sector. In order to achieve SDG 7 by 2030, especially in Ethiopia, um, the government's plan and the private sector's plan has to be really, really aligned. The absence of a regulatory framework to secure these mini-grids in case the grid comes, and also the regulatory framework to really put cost-reflective tariff has been a limiting factor. Uh, we know that uh, there is an, uh, a desire and intent from the government side to improve that, and we are working with the government also on this issue. Once that is resolved, the National Electrification Plan gives a big platform for this mini-grid sector to grow. This is one of the most ambitious electrification programs in Africa, but we are confident that with the um, strategic interventions the government of Ethiopia has currently undertaken, it will be well positioned to deliver on the ambitious goal um, of achieving universal access by 2025, as well as achieving the sustainable development goals. Ambition is very important. African countries especially, where the 550 million are without access to electricity, need to work hard and fast, really invest up front now, move uh, all energy and resources that is possible for the sector to be deployed and uh, create access to the people.